Sure. So we've run a lot of research on how kids use the internet in the UK, and we've really found that kids in the UK are very comfortable with what we call multitasking. So <clears throat> kids are very comfortable, for example, watching video, playing games, chatting with their friends, listening to music, all at the same time. And we've really built this site to accommodate that tendency to want to multitask. So is this um, really a localization of the, the recently redeveloped US Disney site? Yes, it is localization. So if you go onto the site, it'll say Enchanted releasing on the 14th of December. So the release dates will be relevant to this market. The television programming details will be relevant to this market. There's also exclusive content that's shot in the UK available only on Disney.co.uk. So yes, we do localize. Okay. And um, so how's the, how's the virtual world strategy going? What, what's the idea with virtual world? So you have Club Penguin and the Pirates of the Caribbean world due to launch in the UK when? Um, later next year. Later next year. Yeah. And so it, those are extensions of this universe that we're building. That character wheel at the bottom of the home page, from there you can click through to Club Penguin, you can click through to Pirates, and eventually to Fairies and Cars and other virtual worlds that we plug in. Um, they'll just be extensions of, of the experience, a much deeper, more immersive uh, gameplay experience. And what are you doing with Club Penguin in Brighton, right? You're opening an office in Brighton. Yes, we're currently recruiting for the Club Penguin office in Brighton. That's yes. interesting because um, Linden Labs recently opened a second life development office in Brighton as well. So okay. What is it about virtual worlds in Brighton? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, it all added up. There's obviously a lot of locations around the UK. Um, it's proximity to the headquarters in London. It's availability of the talent pool. It's availability of, of the real estate. So a lot of different, you know, factors went into making the decision. So you mentioned that the new Disney.co.uk will include um, advertising support. Yes. Could you talk about that? Will, will the inventory be managed in-house? What kind of advertising options will there be? Yeah, we have an in-house sales team. We also use um, an ad sales house, Ad to One, in the UK. Um, and we will be selling all formats. As I mentioned, uh, there will be banners, there will be skyscrapers, pre-roll video, um, ad-supported games, ad-supported funding, uh, ad-funded programming. Um, integrated widgets, whatever we can think of. It's a real opportunity to innovate in, in, in advertising formats. Okay, and um, so you spoke about uh, traffic, traffic targets earlier. Yeah. We know that the US site has achieved a 25% uplift since it was redesigned. That's right. What's your hope for the UK site? Absolutely the same, actually. We're already the number, the UK's number one ad supported children's online destination, and we forecast similar growth to the US, so 25% for year one is our forecast. Okay.